Almost one year ago today, a large crowd representing Mississippi's diverse population gathered here to celebrate the groundbreaking of two important Mississippi museums. I especially thank Medgar Evers every day for believing in his state and saying repeatedly, this would be the best place to live once we put our problems behind us. We've spent a year watching backhoes and bulldozers, cranes and concrete trucks transform a grassy spot into structures that will soon house priceless artifacts and the rich, poignant stories behind them. History is the process by which I think we come to understand who we are as individuals and how we relate to each other and how important it is to learn from the experiences of the past so that we can make uh, the best decisions in the future. And while the construction of these beautiful buildings is indeed impressive, it represents only a small part of the challenge before us. The true challenge for us is to transform these structures into welcoming spaces where our stories come alive, where new relationships are forged, where public discourse is nourished, and where our diverse communities are strengthened. There's a wonderful story about Mississippi civil rights that hasn't been told. For some reason, we know more in terms of the Birmingham story, you know more about Atlanta, you know more about Memphis, uh, but you don't know a whole lot about the entire complexity of the state of Mississippi. We're going to tell the whole story of our history, the good and the bad. Out of it will come, I think, not only a greater understanding of our history, but a greater appreciation of what it means to be a citizen of this state and a citizen of this country and the responsibility that goes along with being an informed citizen. So, how are we planning to use these structures to engage our citizens? Practical grassroots efforts are already underway. We've started by nurturing existing partnerships with organizations all over the state. We're always seeking partnerships to help us with our outreach and the in-house programs that we do. And we look to those within the state, but it's really important to look for those organizations outside of the state and nationally that can help. We want to continue to develop not only scholarly programming, but community programming and educational programming as well. We think that with the department, the uh, Winter Institute for Racial Reconciliation, the Mer Merlian Megar Evers Institute, and the Kellogg Foundation, we would be able to really strengthen what our mission is for both of these museums. Education programs will help prepare Mississippians for their first visit to the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum in 2017. We started a teacher advisory group. It's about 50 different teachers from across the state. They are advising us on every step of the way, the grade level, the appropriateness of the material, how much detail we should use, and they're helping us with making sure that we get a plenty of primary resources included in that as well. It is our larger public history that we hope to explore at these two museums. These museums, I think, represent a very tangible uh, picture of what racial reconciliation ought to be about. The structures and artifacts themselves cannot tell the stories for us, but together we will weave our stories to create an honest and eloquent historical narrative that will provide the necessary foundation for healing throughout Mississippi.